Thank, thank the gentleman from Maryland. Um, I now recognize the gentleman from Florida, Congressman Micah. Uh, Mr. Uh, Chairman, uh, when I received the notice for today's hearing, I, in fact, this, I guess, is from the committee. It says the uh, panel of witnesses would include David Strickland, the administrator of NHTSA. Uh, I, I know he's only been on the jobs for a limited number of days, but I think it's important that uh, he testify. I'd, I'd ask unanimous consent that uh, he uh, be allowed to testify and be sworn in as a witness. We, as it was explained earlier, that uh, the secretary indicated the fact that uh, the decision was made that he's been on the job 40 days, and that's the reason um, he's not here. Well, but the secretary also assured us that the decision, in terms of the final decision, was his, and that he's prepared to assume that responsibility. I so once he said that, uh, I, I became very comfortable with it because if he's the, uh, uh, going to yeah. assume the responsibility, and then of course when we discussed it. Um, with the ranking member, uh, we accepted that, and of course, I think that we should just move forward. Well, I, I do understand that he is here and he is available. Um, I, I never met him before, but I read his resume and it said, uh, uh, this is from the uh, department website, it said that uh, his work included, he was with the Senate committee, I guess, in advising the Commerce Committee members uh, led to his inclusion of several significant vehicle safety mandates, including the electronic stability control mandate for every passenger vehicle. So he does have a certain <coughs> amount of expertise. If we're going to look at uh, uh, the safety of equipment, uh, I think he, it, it appears he uh, not only is knowledgeable, but has also had experience in p uh, passing uh, legislation or uh, influencing regulations in that regard. So. Um, I can withdraw my request, uh, but uh, again, I, I'm disappointed that he is not, uh, uh, he is not a, a witness, and I was led to believe again uh, that he was on the witness. Would list. the gentleman yield? Um, well, I, I don't want to, I will yield. For, uh, thank you. I'll very be very briefly brief. On this, Ms. On this Ms. Point. Mr. Chairman, we're, we're anticipating having another panel in a week or two. Uh, would you agree to work with us on the possible inclusion of uh, Mr. Strickland, because of course we're going to be calling probably Bush administration people, and we can we can see the the potential of that uh, at the end of this hearing. I don't have a problem with that at all, because let's face it, what we're talking about happened on the other watch. I mean, uh, and of course, uh, uh, and we need to recognize that. So uh, the point is that I think that's where our emphasis should be in terms of trying to make certain that we talk to them. But I don't have a problem in terms of at some point asking Mr. Strickland to come forward and to. Uh, uh, but the point is that uh, I think we should just move forward today. Uh, we have the secretary uh, with us, and, uh, and I think well, that he's I will indicated. withdraw my uh, motion uh, if it's acceptable, right. and uh, we'll work with you. But uh, then if, if I'm now recognized. I now recognize the gentleman for five minutes. Uh, NHTSA is um, the primary national safety transportation surface Safety Transportation Agency of the United States and the Department of Commerce, uh, right, Mr. LaHood? That is correct. Yeah. Um, every account I've heard to date says that NHTSA failed and Toyota failed. Uh, the chairman said it in his opening statements yesterday. We heard that. Uh, I'm sorry I can't talk to the NHTSA administrator today, but we will get an opportunity to hear from him. Uh, you opened your commentary, rightfully so, with safety being your, the primary responsibility of uh, the Department of Transportation, uh, correct? Uh, That's correct. Yes, um, and you set, now set the policy, and you've been there for a number of uh, months. Um, so I'm somewhat baffled by the budget request of the administration from 2000. Uh, 10 to 2011, the, the budget request that came out a few days ago, with the smallest request for increase in budget for our primary safety agency. It was only $5 million. And, you know, yesterday I said in, in uh, the Transportation Committee, uh, my dad used to say it's not how much you spend, but how you spend it. You spend it wisely. But I think you know the concern Mr. Oberstar and I have had about 
uh, safety and uh, making that a, a priority, particularly in transportation and in NHTSA in particular. But um, it's a relatively uh, modest uh, amount. In fact, it's uh, one of the lowest increases requested. Uh, any reason for that? We think that uh, adding 66 new people at NHTSA probably gets us where we need to be in terms of really uh, staying on top of our have, safety issues. You have 632 current positions. How many vacancies do you currently have? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to get back to you on the record for that. Uh, does Mr. Strickland know? Maybe Mr. Strickland or staff. I'll be happy to note. get back to you for the record. Okay. Uh, and I would like, Mr. Chairman, to ask unanimous consent that, that uh, the number of FTE vacancies in uh, NHTSA be included uh, in, in the record. Without uh, objection. The issue of uh, the revolving door of people going from NHTSA to the industry. Uh, uh, it was stated that there's no communications that what you stated allowed between them. I have a copy of an uh, email in 2008 between uh, Scott Yon of the U.S. Department of Transportation and a former, uh, former NHTSA employee uh, who works for Toyota. Are you aware that this type of, uh, uh, these types of communications uh, went back and forth? I saw that email. Well, you did admit that we should tighten things up. I think that was your term. Absolutely. And is there now a two-year ban or a one-year ban? Are you familiar with the restrictions on the revolving door of uh, two-year ban? Okay. Uh, so uh, I, I would be glad to hear your recommendation and support your recommendation to tighten this. But I'll be happy to work with fact, you on Mr. it, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to submit this. Uh, this document for, uh, to the record to show that, in fact, there has been uh, communications uh, uh, and that we do need to close the revolving uh, door. Uh, if it's just limited to uh, Toyota. Uh, it Without objection. It, thank you. Toyota. It doesn't matter. So uh, I do have some disappointment. Uh, again, I don't want to get into all the specifics of where those bodies uh, are directed or requested. Uh, it's not my intention to try to embarrass the department. It's my intention to make certain that you have the resources uh, to the, do the job that you need to do to in, ensure safety. Is there anything else you could recommend to either our transportation committee or government reform in the way of additional authority personnel or resources that would allow Regarding you safety? Yes. I'd love for every member of this committee to co-sponsor the transit safety bill that uh, Mr. Oberstar introduced. That's a good way for, to give us the opportunity to have oversight over transit systems, including WMATA, which had a terrible crash, which sparked our interest in really getting into the safety business. Well, and I would encourage every member of this committee to look at that bill. It's a good bill, and it gives us the authority, which we're prohibited from doing, to get into the safety business with respect to transit organizations. Well, and transit is one thing, and again, uh, federal agency has say over Amtrak and freight rails, which have uh, probably the uh, worst uh, safety record. But if you took all the uh, fatalities in public uh, transit uh, over the uh, years uh, and compared it to the one, uh, the incidents that have been cited today in this one uh, automobile part. Uh, I think you, you, we have a problem. Mr. Mike, I don't minimize any fatality. I think one fatality is too, are too many fatalities. And when eight people are killed here in Washington, D.C., on America's metro system, somebody needs to be looking out for safety. We want to do that. And I hope we can have your support to do and it. Finally, I would, uh, I would venture to say and, uh, there's an article in today's uh, uh, post that uh, if, they, if we had, we do have equipment that... Uh, that could provide that safety rather than spending on a bunch of people wandering around the tracks. Uh, we, our money would uh, well, best, best be uh, expended. You'll be happy to know the president serve. has proposed $150 million in the 2011 budget for WMATA and for equipment. The gentleman's time has expired. $5 million dollars for it, NHTSA, uh, the NHTSA budget, uh, the lowest amount that I have. Uh, in recent history. Thank you. The gentleman's time has expired. I now yield to the gentleman from uh, uh, Ohio. But let me just say before we do that,